Hello and welcome to this Functional Skills ICT tutorial video. What we're going to be looking at today is database software and we're going to be using the sample 2 mock exam from the Sitting Guild website. So um, this is basically the question that you'll get and uh, it's task 6 of this uh, particular mock exam. So uh, the club secretary wants you to contact some people on the class inquiry list download the files you've been given use database software to import the information from the class inquiry list create a query to find those interested in a beginner class for street routines paste a screenshot of the design view uh, of the query into the evidence document provided use the query to create a report so show only the title last name first name initial address one address two town county and postcode Make sure the report is clear and easy to read and then paste a screenshot of your report into the evidence doc document provided. And then upload your completed evidence document uh, using this blue button here. So first things first, what we need to do is uh, if you've not already done so already, uh, if you've not done any of the previous tutorials, well, you need to make a mock exam folder, which you can see there. I've done it already on my desktop, so sample to mock. Then in there, uh, we've got task 5 and task 7, <laughs> not doing it in any particular order as you can see, um, but you need to create a new folder for task 6. So just right click in your folder once you've created it and then go to new and create a new folder for task 6. Okay, so that's where we're going to be saving all of our evidence to. Uh, so if we just open up the mock exam uh, window again, uh, we'll download the uh, files that we've got so click here to download your evidence document so I'll click onto that go and save as at the bottom there and then find your uh, test 6 folder and then we'll rename it test 6 evidence document and then there's also a class inquiry list so we have to click on that and you'll see it opens it up in a uh, a new browser window rather than downloading any particular document um, so what we need to do is get that into a into a document in your task 6 folder so highlight everything on the screen and then just copy it and then go back to your task 6 folder and whilst you're in there right click and create new text document and we'll call this class inquiry list Okay, so we've created the text document, so we just need to uh, open it up. It's literally just a case of pasting that information into the text document and then save, and then you can close that down. We don't need it for now. Right, okay, so we've done that. Next part is to open up Microsoft Access, which is the program that you're going to be using. So go down to your start menu, look for Microsoft Office. Click on that and then you should find Microsoft Access on there as well. We're going to be using the 2007 version. Uh, there are more up-to-date versions available, but this is the one we're going to use today. Okay, so we've got Microsoft Access open. And as you can see, there's the uh, blank database uh, icon at the top there. That's the one we want to use. So double click on there. And you'll see on the right hand side, it's now got a bit of a option for your blank database so uh, first of all make sure that you've got the right file um, selected as to where you want to save it so we want to save it in the task 6 folder that we've just created uh, this one's just going into my documents at the moment so click on this little folder icon at the side and then uh, find your desktop sample mock 2 and then task 6 and then we'll save it in there we'll also rename the file to um, class inquiry list and then we'll uh, just press on OK and then that should save it. If we just press the create button you'll notice we now have something created in database but uh, we don't actually want this, this is just a blank table so we're going to just close that we're going to import the data so this is where the uh, the text document where you've copied 
from the web browser into the new text doc text document that you created that's where we're going to be using that so you'll see at the top there's external data on the tab click on there and then just underneath it says text file so just click on that one as well and then again just uh, in the new window just look for, look for your folder so browse desktop sample mock class 6 and then class inquiry inquiry list and that's going to import all of the data that was was on that uh, text document so it did look a bit uh, like a, just a load of waffle but you'll see um, in the next uh, minutes what happens with it so if we press OK it brings up another window so as you can see that it still looks like a load of waffle but I'll just uh, briefly explain um, what it all is so you'll notice like the words have got speech marks around them so title in speech marks um, that's basically a bit later on um, it'll show because it's got the speech marks around it it'll just show the, the, the word title um, and then it's separated by a comma and then the next uh, the next item again separated by a comma so this is where this bit comes in so it needs to be selected as delimited so characters such as commas or tabs separate each field uh, we already know there's commas and they are separating each field um, so we're happy with that so we can just press next and it'll generate a table that looks similar to this at this point uh, so it's saying choose the delimiter that separates your fields so we know it's a comma so we'll leave it as that uh, and then we need to tick this one first row contains field name so the first row in your table is basically this one where it says title last name first name initial address etc etc we need to tick that because that's going to make it as though they are headings for those particular co columns and um, when you're doing your searches and stuff it will use those particular columns to uh, look for the data okay and then there's text qualifier so with text qualifier uh, it's already selected as speech marks so um, that's fine we can just uh, use that so where I said the, the words were uh, had the speech marks on either side that's basically what it's what it's looking for there so it knows just to show uh, the words that was within those speech marks so if we press next uh, we don't need to do anything on this one so we can press next again and then we've got this uh, little window uh, here and uh, what we need to do is to, to select no primary key before I do that though I'll just show you what what's here so if we leave it as the settings that it's got now it's going to give each row an ID uh, number and one way to sort of put it into some sort of context as to how this would be used would be uh, for example if you're using uh, employee records um, and let's say you've had some new employees to your business you've added them to the database it will then give them um, an employee number I suppose that's generally what this ID would, would be looking at uh, but we don't want any of those so we just press no primary key at this point press next and uh, quite happy with everything so we just press finish okay then just press close on this one as you'll see it's now uh, the table for it has now come up in the left hand uh, menu so just double click on that and it opens up your table uh, and this is basically all of the data that you've just um, imported and arranged so that it looks like this in the table all right so let's have a look at the question again so we've imported the uh, information from the class inquiry list now we need to create a query to find those interested in a beginner's class, the street routines. Paste a screenshot of the design view to the, uh, of, the, of the query into the evidence document provided. Okay, so what we're going to do now then is to create the query. Uh, so if we go on create, there's the create tab at the top of the screen. Click on there and then you'll see query design icon at the, at the uh, far right hand side of the uh, toolbar well, it's actually in the middle of the screen um, click on that and it changes to this so this is the query design view and um, with the window that's popped up you're just selecting the table 
that we've got open so class inquiry list so just press add and then close and then you'll see another little window has popped up I'll just uh, make it a bit bigger and it's got a list of all of the columns that we've got um, in the table so what we need to do is just double click on all all of those every single one apart from the top um, asterisk we don't need that one and what it's going to do is it's going to add all of these into the query uh, which is basically just saying that um, we're going to include all of this information and we're going to use this for um, searching from basically um, so done that and it wanted um, the class style and the class type uh, to be street routines and beginners or beginner I should say don't put beginners because it won't work <laughs> but if we look back on the uh, class inquiry list table you'll see class style got street routines um, what I would do is just click on the filter and you can see how street routines is spelt um, so it does have the S on it doesn't show on the actual table but it does have an S at the end again it's important that you have that S on your search criteria that we're going to add in in a moment otherwise we won't be able to find what you're looking for so let's press cancel on that and again with class type you're looking at beginner so to add the criteria then for the search for the query if we just go back onto the query tab um, there's a little row here criteria so we need to go over to class style and then in the criteria row uh, for class style we need to type in street routines and then for the class type we need to type in beginner okay so that's all we need to do for that query it's done everything we need to do uh, in terms of the design uh, so what we need to do now is to just create a screenshot and paste it into the evidence document so to do the screenshot all you need to do is just press the print screen button on your keyboard open up your evidence document okay and then now that the uh, evidence document is open you just need to paste that screenshot into your evidence document I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit tidy the document up so just delete those uh, gaps that are in between it um, and that's all you need to do for that so we'll go back to the uh, question so what do we need to do now so use the query to create a report show only the title last name first name initial address one address two town county and postcode so you'll see from that from all of the other information uh, that we've got let's just click back onto the table we've got everything apart from these last three columns that's all it it doesn't want to show these last three columns on the actual report so just click back onto the query what we need to do is to save the query as an object so if you click on save go to save as and then save object as then just rename this street routines beginner and that's basically just saying that we've created the query to show everyone is interested in street routines and, and beginner classes so we just press OK and we have to go to actually create the report now so if you click on the create tab at the top there you'll see we've got a few options uh, certainly here towards just slightly left of the middle uh, we've got report design and report wizard um, that we're going to use the report wizard this time pop, uh, rather than the report design if you click on report wizard and then what we need to do is to transfer over all of the information from here that we need so it was everything apart from the last three columns which was class style class type and age okay you don't need to do anything else uh, with this you, you can cycle through these if you want clicking from one window to the next but you're not going to actually change anything else from there um, so you can just press finish it brings up your report now with your report as you can see there's 
part of the report missing off the paper so what we have to do now is basically just tidy it up so um, make sure that your report is clear and easy to read now it's quite similar to um, spreadsheets you know how you can change the length of the columns it's exactly the same sort of thing really um, so what you need to do is to just right click on your street routines begin a tab and then click on design view or you can just close your press this close print preview button and it brings it up like this so it is literally just a case of selecting each um, field and then clicking on left your left mouse button on it and dragging it uh, down to where you want it to be so we know that initial is not going to need such a big box so we can drop that right down Dress one we can drop and um, if we just have a look actually go back on to print preview so right click on your tab and select um, print preview you'll see there's actually no information in address two so you can make that really really uh, small so again just press the close print preview button or right click and go on to design view we can drop that one so that it's quite small probably do it in line with the with the two from the, the title uh, town that can be brought right down as well uh, to a decent size as can county and as can postcode uh, in line with the postcode so um, hopefully that should fit all of the information on the one page and it's quite nice and tidy so we'll just right click on that street routines beginner tab again and we we'll go on to print preview and yeah as you can see all of the information's on there uh, nothing's been sort of chopped off anywhere it's all on the one page so yeah I'm quite happy with that and that's uh, pretty much all you need to do for this task so all we need to do now is paste a screenshot of the report into the evidence document provided so again if you go onto there press your print screen button go back to your evidence document and then just paste it in there like so and that's everything done for task 6 so you just need to save this evidence document and then close it down it's really important that you save and then close it down and do the same again with your Microsoft Access database that you've done so save and close it down and uh, the next part you have to do is to upload your document so it only actually wants your evidence document with this so what you do is just press on the blue icon which would ordinarily bring up a window uh, which you would then just press an upload button browse for your file select it and um, and then that's it it's all uploaded with it being a mock exam we can't actually do that so I'll just close that uh, but it's really really important that you do um, save your documents and close them down before you upload them otherwise it's not going to work uh, it's not going to upload properly it'll just upload a blank document so um, it's really important because you, you could have done the best piece of evidence ever but if you've got that wrong the actual upload step then you're going to uh, not pass that section unfortunately but uh, that's everything for task six so i hope you found that useful hope it's been helpful and uh, good luck with your exam